Oh, 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 an error has occurred. Hang on, are we on? Hello, hello, I'm just looking at this. Okay, guys, um, I need to check that we're working. It says there's a problem with the live stream here. Uh, guys, if you can see and hear me, just uh, say OK in the uh, live chat, because uh, it says we've got some problem here. Um, so guys, just let me know in the live live stream. Can you uh, see me? Can you hear me? Uh, oh, Lily is, said yes. OK. All right, let me just type that in and get some, a few more people. So can you see and hear me? Okay, all right, great. Okay, we're on. Yes, as you can see, maybe on my page here, it says we've got some problem here, but uh, it seems you're on. Okay, so guys, uh, it's uh, time for a Kahoot for the weekend. Uh, but before we start, um, yes, we have some, uh, some kind of big news today, and uh, Marcus uh, has just been telling uh, us in the live chat at the top that uh, school's closed again. <sighs> so... No one's going back to school on Monday, none of the students at least. So, uh, guys, I'm guessing, I'm guessing that um, we will be doing some more live streams at some point next week. But um, I think uh, probably for the teachers, I'm guessing uh, I will be going into school at least on Monday, I, I think. Um, so keep an eye on your emails from the school and keep an eye on our Google Classroom uh, because of course if the school is closed then we will uh, try and do some live streams as we did before and uh, okay guys uh, today's Kahoot for the weekend we've actually got three oh my goodness yes we've got three um, we have uh, Hong Kong fun facts uh, which is going to be our, our main one first. Uh, and then, though, we've got uh, a mini Kahoot, four questions, uh, which uh, Madeline uh, from P1, she made. We're going to have a play of that. And also, Danny from 2A, he has sent me a link. And where is it? Down here somewhere. Here it is. Uh, to his Kahoot that he made. It's a mini Kahoot. So we're going to play those two from the students as well. But guys, let's start with our fun facts. Uh, we'll give you two minutes to get yourselves logged in. And then uh, we'll see who else has joined us in the live stream. And uh, the number, the game pin for today is... Dun 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 dun. It is... 8506730. So we'll give you two minutes to get yourselves signed in. And uh, of course, I'll uh, just move myself out of the way. I don't want to see my face on there when we're playing the game. Okay, now let's have a look in the live stream. Who's there? So, um, who's just joined us? Uh, da -da -da -da. Okay, so Alvin has just come in, and um, Alice has joined us. Toti's in, and Selena, she's uh, joined us. And uh, Maven, I think I saw Maven's name, so it's Maven and Malvina are here as well. So good to see you all in. Um, and we're going to find out how much you know about Hong Kong, all the fun, interesting places that are in Hong Kong. Some of you have already mentioned uh, Disney, Disneyland, and uh, Madeline. She says uh, she's uh, she's going to go on her birthday to Disneyland. Ooh. Wow, that's fantastic! talking about the uh, yeah this whole thing about school so uh, Marcus is saying that, uh, the Education Bureau they, they put out a, a notice a message saying uh, no school on Monday apparently so guys please check that but uh, I do believe uh, Marcus uh, 
He's uh, right on that. Marcus uh, certainly knows what he's talking about. So, uh, sounds like school's closed for next week. Oh dear. And Marcus has just put that information in, in Chinese there. So, okay, thanks for that, Marcus. Um, we've got uh, 18 watching on the live stream. How many have we got in there? We've got 12 players in, so uh, I'm going to give you another 20 seconds and then we'll start. So, Hong Kong, Disneyland. Everyone loves that. Do you know any other nice places in Hong Kong? chat maven saying oh no no school again yeah i i'm a little bit sad that we uh if we I, I really enjoyed the live streams it's good fun but um i was hoping that we could uh, we could all stay at school until the summer holidays all right anyway guys let's play let's do it fun facts all about hong kong number one Oof, how, how many islands are there in Hong Kong? Oh my goodness. What do you think? <clears throat> Between uh, 0 and 50? 51 to 120? 121 to 199? Or 200 plus? It's more than 200. What do you think? later. <clears throat> okay, there we go. It is 200 or more than 200 because there's lots of tiny, tiny little islands, many of them with no one living on them. Well, six of you got it. And Madeline's top. Alpha's there. Uh, Marcus, Sharon and Malvina. Right then, guys, question two. What are the three main languages of Hong Kong? Right. Is it American, Mandarin and Japanese? Uh, mm, I don't think so. Um, Cantonese, Korean, Vietnamese? English, Cantonese, Mandarin? Or Mandarin, English and American? <coughs> now, of course, uh, Mandarin, uh, that's... I don't know the English name for it, but I think you guys probably call it uh, Putonwa. And the live chat, Toti, saying from the tallest building in Hong Kong, she was she could see everything, all of Hong Kong. It's a great view. Uh, yes, we have three languages here, uh, English, Cantonese, and uh, Mandarin, or Putonwa. So, 11 of you got it. Did it change our top? Oh, yes, it did. Alpha and uh, Marcus have jumped up into the top two spots. Can they stay there? Let's try question three. Ah, peak, the peak. When did the peak tram to Victoria's Peak start. So, I'm sure you've all been on the tram. It's great, isn't it? But when did it start? What year was it? 1857, 1888, 1946, or 1932? Have a guess if you don't know. It's quite old. Wow. 
Well, there you go. <clears throat> it was 1888. Long time ago. So uh, let's hope they uh, let's hope they keep the tracks in good order. They must be very old. I'm sure they they, they change the tracks for the tram uh, every now and again. Now Marcus has moved up to top. Uh, Sharon's moved up to third. And L, I'm guessing that's probably Lily from Two uh, B, right? Up to fifth. Question four. Ooh. So the peak. How high is the peak? That's a tough question. Is it about 500 metres high? Uh, 550, 600 or 650 metres high? Ooh. Well, I feel with this Kahoot, I, I'm learning something new with every question. Danny got it right. We'll be uh, having a look at one of his cahoots later today. Uh, right then, guys, there's the answer. It's very difficult, isn't it? That, but yes, there's something new that you've learnt. Uh, the peak is about 550 meters high. Right. Oh, Malvina and Maven have uh, joined the top five after that question. So will they stay there? Ooh, question five, look at that. How much of Hong Kong is green? So we, when we say green, we, we, we kind of mean like all the trees and, you know, not the buildings. What do you think? 15, 25, 45 or 75% of Hong Kong is green? It is 75%. It's amazing, isn't it? Because um, certainly people who don't know Hong Kong, who've never visited Hong Kong, um, I think people think Hong Kong is just lots and lots of very, very tall buildings and lots of people. But actually, yes, 75%, three quarters of Hong Kong is just like trees and forest and, you know, countryside. And very nice it is. Did this uh, change our top five? Oh, we've got a bit more movement. Uh, Sharon, Malvina and Maven have all moved up a little bit. But Marcus is still top of the tree. Question six. Ah, Disneyland. Which year did Hong Kong Disneyland open? It's quite new, isn't it? Well... Maybe for you guys it doesn't feel new, but uh, for an old person like me, it's pretty new. So was it 2001, or was it 1999, 2009, or 2005? Sophia in the live chat, she says she can't play because her dad's not at home. Maybe she doesn't she doesn't have a, an extra phone or something to play on. Oh, well, you can still watch and you can still try and get the answers, uh, Sophia. And there is the answer for this one. Hong Kong Disneyland opened in 2005. Most of you got that. 
Uh, no change at all uh, in our top five. Let's try number seven. Ah, Ocean Park. Ocean Park has what? Giraffes, oceans, parks, or pandas? Well, with a name like Ocean Park, you would think it, it would have some oceans and some parks, right? But the answer, of course, pandas. Yes, uh, most of you got that. Uh, does anyone know, actually, uh, how many pandas live uh, at Ocean Park? Uh, let me know in the live chat if you know. Is it like 5, 10, 20? How many have they got? Right, Malveen has moved up a little bit and uh, I think Lily has uh, rejoined the uh, top five. Question eight. What kind of music started in Hong Kong? I think this is quite easy, isn't it? a famous style of music in Hong Kong but which one of these is it Carmen Jew, Canton Pop Racky Lou or Lang G It's Canton Pop. Yes, in, uh, in Korea they have K-pop, in Japan they have J-pop, and here in Hong Kong we have Canton Pop. Right. Uh, Maven, oh, and Madeline have moved up a little bit. Well, there's lots of uh, changes going on in our top five. What about this one? This could change our top five. <clears throat> skyscrapers, these huge, tall buildings. And we're talking uh, buildings that are 100 metres or more. How many skyscrapers are there in Hong Kong? Have a guess. It's about 4,000. Now, I don't know about you guys, but uh, my building that I live in, uh, there are 22 floors. But I don't think it, it's actually 100 metres tall. I'm not sure. But um, 100 metres is high. And there are over 4,000 buildings, or around 4,000, which are 100 metres or taller. Wow, that's a lot. Okay, no change though after that. Let's try number 10. Ooh, what's this? Hong Kong is on the... Ah. A water question. So where is Hong Kong? Is it on the Indian Ocean, the Atlantic Ocean, the South China Sea, or the Aral Sea?
And just a reminder to uh, Liu Xian from 2C, student number 12. Uh, not too many emojis in the uh, live chat, please. Try and use your English a little bit, yeah? That's what we, uh, we want to see in our live chat. South China Sea, yes. And this green one, Aral Sea, I don't know. I'm not sure where that is. Does anyone does anyone know where the Aral Sea is? Is it in Russia? Maybe. I, I really don't know. Let me know if you uh, if you know the answer. Where is the Aral Sea? All right. Oh, Sierra's moved into the top five. I think that's for the first time so far in this one. And Sharon's moved up into third place. Marcus is still steaming ahead in first place. So look at that. Nine thousand six hundred and eighty-two points. Pretty safe, I think, Marcus, at the moment. Ooh, yeah. Movie stars. Which movie star was born in Hong Kong? Born in Hong Kong. Was it Jackie Chan or Bruce Lee? These are two very famous movie stars. But which one was born here in Hong Kong? Oh, in the live chat, Lydia from 2A, she said she, she's made a kahoot. Okay, Lydia, well, maybe next week, uh, we, I'm going to tell you all actually how to share your kahoots with me uh, at the end of today's uh, live stream, so uh, we, can, uh, we can maybe play yours next week. Oh, Mavin's, I think Mavin's been on to Google, he's, he's got the answer to the Aral Sea. It says it's a lake lying between Kazakhstan and Uzbekistan, which is kind of near Russia, isn't it, somewhere? All right. Anyway, Jackie Chan was born here in Hong Kong. Right. Any change? Oops, Sierra's moved up to fourth. She's doing well at the moment. Oh, it's a tram question. How many people use Hong Kong trams every day? Well, I do. I get the tram every morning from Wan Chai up to Causeway Bay before I get the minibus to school. And we see lots of you guys on the minibus as well, yeah? But how many people use the trams? 90,000, 150,000, 180, or 200? and 30,000 people. Wow, only two of you got this right. Uh, 150,000. That I checked this, guys. Um, I did check this um, because it has changed. Um, it used to be 230,000, but uh, yeah, apparently now it's uh, about 150,000 every day. Still a lot of people, yeah. And uh, what? No change. Oh well. Let's try this one. What is on the Hong Kong flag and emblem? Is it a shrimp, a skyscraper, a flower, or a butterfly? Well, I think this one's quite easy.
It's a flower, of course. Is it a shrimp? A skyscraper? Oh, I don't think so. Uh, it's a flower, isn't it? All right. Did this change things? Uh, no. Well, what about this question? Here we are. Toti, this one was, this one's for you. Toti uh, said she she went up the tallest building in Hong Kong recently. But what is it? Which one is the tallest? Is it the IFC? The ICC? Hopewell Centre? Or the Peak? Well, it's not the Peak, is it? Because the Peak is a, is a mountain. It's not a building. So it's definitely not the Peak. In the live chat, Matt from Two A's asking, "Do we have the Google Meet? Uh, not today, um, but um, most likely uh, next week. If there's no school on, <coughs> uh, we will be doing some uh, some live streams and some Google Meets next week." Now, Lee, uh, Lily from Two B, she was very convinced in the live chat. She said ICC, and she was correct. It's uh, just a bit taller than the IFC. So, uh, Toti, I'm guessing you were at the top of the ICC uh, recently, having a great view of Hong Kong. Right then, Maven and Alvin have jumped into the top five. And we're on the last question. Right, look at this. In Chinese, what does Hong Kong mean? So, these, these two Chinese characters, it's called Hong Kong. But what does that mean? Is it Fragrant Harbour, Happy Island, Fishing Village, or City by Water? Fragrant, maybe a new word for lots of you. It's kind of like a, a nice smell. So, uh, nice smell harbour. There we go. That's the answer. And our top three. Maven. Well done. Second place. Marina. Well done. The twins. But the winner. Marcus. Congratulations to you. All right, guys, that was a, uh, oh, with Sharon and uh, Lily in fourth and fifth. Well, guys, we are going to come out of that one, and uh, we are, we are going to do a couple of quick ones, uh, a couple of more cahoots. Madeline sent me this, um, and uh, guys, I'm just going to tell you now, um, if you want to send me um, one of your cahoots, because I need to get your Kahoot in here, in my uh, Kahoot account. This is my uh, school account name, AABBCCDD2560, right? So you, if you go to your Kahoot that you want to send me and uh, click on the share button and then just type in AABBCCDD2560, and uh, you'll share it with me, and it will come up here in my little file here. So, oh, Matt's done his. He's just sent me one. Okay. So, uh, and then what I do from here, I, I, I then make a copy. I just click on that, and I copy it, duplicate it, and then I've got it in my account. So, we're going to, that's how you do it, guys. I will... Um, mention this in our Google Classroom. Danny has actually made a video this afternoon uh, showing you how to do this. He did it on his computer. So thanks, Danny. That is here. Uh, 
um, where is it? Somewhere up here. Here. Yeah, so uh, if you're not sure, you can watch Danny's got some good advice for you there. Um, so, guys, uh, we are going to play uh, Madeline's now. It's a, it's, a, it's a mini one, four questions. So if you want to hang around and play this one, uh, we're going to load it up. Uh, we'll see what questions are in there. Um, I'm not going to tell you anything about this Kahoot. Uh, we'll just see what Madeline has chosen for her questions, and we'll see uh, how well you can answer them. And uh, after this, we will uh, play Danny's. So, guys, Madeline's Kahoot here, 623354. If you want to play, uh, we'll give you a minute to get yourselves signed in with that game pin. So, yes, Selena is asking how to make Kahoot. Um, first thing you need to do. Selena is go to kahoot.com and make a account for yourself. It's very easy. You just uh, click a few buttons, put in your um, your email address, things like that. And then when you make a, making a Kahoot is super easy. Um, I actually have a video of how to do that. Um, which I'll repost in our Google Classroom at the weekend. And uh, Madeline's asking, can you join to play? Actually, yeah, I, I, let me uh, let me join myself. I'll just use my phone. Hang on, uh, let me let me get Kahoot.it. I'll, uh, I'll sign myself in as well. Okay, guys. Um, I'll just sign myself in, and then uh, we uh, we can all play uh, together. So that's six, two, two, three, three, five, four. Here we go, Mr. Matthew. Oh. Okay, looks like I'm in. Okay, guys, we've got 20 players. Let's play Madeline's Kahoot. Here we go. Right then. What is this animal? Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Is it puppy, dog, or doggy? Uh, oh. uh, I'm, uh, what is it? I'm not sure. Well, puppy, puppy is a baby dog. Doggy is a, just a, a cute name for a dog. Wow, Madeline, this is a tough one. Great question. Oh, they're all correct. Ah, ha, ha. A nice little trick question to start us off then. They're all good. All right. Oh, 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 I'm in second place. Hoo, 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 hoo. But uh, Matt, he's uh, top of the pile at the moment. I shall try and get to the top. All right, question two. What kind of animals are they? Are they family? What? What? They are family, they are giraffe? What? They aren't family, they're just friends. They're monkeys. They're family, it is a monk. Oh my goodness. Madeline, you're just so difficult questions. Oh my goodness. I. Oh, I don't know. I'll try that one.
Yes, sir. Uh, it is tricky, isn't it? Uh, oh, I got it correct. I, I went for green. They, they are a family. They are monkeys. Oh, good. Oh. Hey, 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 hey. Look at that. Who's top of the tree now? It's Mr. Matthew. Ha ha. I wonder if I can stay there, though. Okay, Madeline. Question three. What have you done for us here? Oh, my goodness. What does this say? If a bunny pet teeth is shot need to cut to use carrots what and the choices are no sorry no yes ha 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 or he 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 um i have no idea if a bunny pet teeth is shot need to cut to use carrots um, oh, I'm just gonna press one. This is a very, very naughty Kahoot, Madeline. I like it. for red but uh, three of you went for, for, for blue which was yes I'm not sure why but um, uh, L I think that's Lily she's pushed me off top spot well Lily I'm gonna try and get my top spot back let's try the last question what are they doing what kind of music are they using uh, what but what kind of music are they using? Um, P oh, piano book, is it? Stay and piano book. What? What stay and piano book? Oh, Madeline, I don't know this. Let's try that one. Piano. Uh, I got that one wrong, but uh, 11 of you got it right. Okay, well done. Now, who's in the top three? Top three. Alpha. Where am I? Where am I? Lily. And first place must be me. Alice from 4 Hey, Hey, how dare you? And I'm not even in the top five. I'm very angry. Grr. Okay. All right, Madeline, that was great fun. Thank you for that. Uh, okay, lovely stuff, and well done to uh, the winners there. Okay, guys, we're very quickly going to go and have a look at Danny's. He's done a, a mini Kahoot. Uh, just need to find it. Um, it's down here. Where is it? Here it is. Okay, guys, so let's see what Danny's done. Uh, let me just load it. I think I can load this straight up. And uh, if we just click on there. And we're, uh, we're straight in. We've got the code 7220480. Let's, uh, let's see what uh, fun, amazing, or terrible questions uh, Danny's got for us on this one. And uh, I will sign into this one as well and try it. But, uh, oh, my Wi-Fi has been a little bit slow there. So, 7220480, okay. I'm in. And 
uh, most of you guys are in as well by the looks of it. Let me just check how many are watching now. Okay, we've got 18 watching. I think we're all in. We've got 16, 17 in, 18 in. I think we're all in. Let's do it. So, has Danny made some tricky questions for us? Let's have a look. What is X? Oh my goodness. Da does Danny mean which one is wrong? It, I wonder if that's what Danny means by this with the X. The red X, does th that means wrong, the bad one. Um, well, there's a few bad ones there, right? Bad, bad spelling, um, bad grammar. Uh, I'm going to try... Uh, I'm going to try the red one. Right, good question, Danny. So there were three, of course, three wrong answers. First one, he are, of course he is. Uh, the yellow one, he is paying, yep, yeah, spelling mistake, yep, yeah, and pl plying. All right, so, um, yeah, there were three wrong answers. And, uh, oh, but nine of you went for the green one, which uh, was actually uh, good English. Ah, very tricky question there Danny I like it and oh I'm in the top five just but uh, Marcus Alpha Selena and Madeline they're all ahead of me let's see if I can move up now what's this playing um, playing oh well that's easy true or false Oh no, my Wi-Fi on my phone has stopped working. <gasps> Can't answer this one. Oh, 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 it's back on. I've got time. got that well except one it is of course false bad spelling we don't need two Y's nice question Danny all right I am out I'm down Sophia's taken my place right number three happies happies I think that one's quite easy. There we go, guys. Yep, false, happy. There's, there's no such word, is there? It's just happy. And uh, there's no happies, right? Um, how we do? Oh, look at that. Marcus is still on top. Selena's moved up to second. I have moved up to third. Hoo -hoo. Uh, Sophia, and then A. A. Is that Alvin? Is it? Is it um, Alpha? Who's A? Let us know in the live chat. Right, let's try question four. 
Kahoot. Kahoot what? What? Kahoot? Is it true or false? Tricky one, Danny. What do you mean, true or false? Oh, Abigail is A. Okay. So, uh, you're doing well at the moment, Abigail. You're in the top five. Uh, right then. Uh, it's true. Kahoot. That's well, well, it's how you spell Kahoot. Uh, okay. Oh, see me? I've gone. But uh, Sophia, Abigail and Cody, they've all moved up. Right then, guys. Last question of Danny's. And he, it just says, go to bad. Go to bad. Go to bad? Does it, should that be go to, go to bed? Right, I'm, I'm going false, I'm, I'm going false. What about you guys? I think it's go to bed. Guessing it was go to bed. Okay, guys, so Danny's great quiz there. Thanks, Danny, for that. Uh, third place, Sophia, well done. Second place, Selena, but the winner, Marcus. He's had a good day today, Marcus, with the cahoots. Well done. And Abigail and Mavin, well done to you guys. Okay, now we are going to. Uh, just come out of there guys um, and we're going to finish in a minute but before we do um, so it seems that uh, school sounds like school's going to be uh, cancelled and uh, basically your summer holiday kind of starts on Monday but I'm guessing we're still going to be doing some school work right so uh, I We'll find out more from the school over the weekend what's happening, um, but uh, probably it means we uh, will be doing some live streams uh, here on the YouTube channel. So, guys, uh, maybe over the weekend, Sunday, Monday, keep checking our Google Classroom and keep checking your school emails for information. Um, but probably, if we do the live streams next week, it'll probably be, you know, 10 o'clock. Uh, we'll start in the morning about 10 o'clock, uh, same as we did before, okay? And also, uh, we played Madeline and uh, Danny's Cahoots today. Thank you both for those. Uh, great fun. And I can already see I've been sent... Uh, sorry, here we are with the shared... Uh, Matt from uh, 2A, he sent one. We'll be having a look at that, play that next week sometime. Lydia in the live chat, she said she'd made one. So, guys, I am going to post more information here in the Google Classroom about how to make your Kahoot, how to share your Kahoot. Um, and I'll also remind you that uh, my... School Kahoot here is A A B B C C D D 2560. So if you forget that, don't worry. I'm going to post all this information over the weekend. Okay? 
So guys, hope you enjoyed that, had good fun, and uh, yes, we will, I guess we will be seeing you on the live streams and in Google Meet at some point next week, okay? So we'll be sending you information on that. All right, guys, time to go. Have a great weekend. Uh, stay safe, yeah, with all this COVID-19 stuff, you know, keep wearing the mask, keep washing your hands and all that stuff. And uh, we'll be seeing you uh, probably online sometime next week. All right, guys, we'll say bye-bye for now. See you then.